day welcome this is your daily med with lady v grace and peace from god our father and from our lord and savior jesus christ today we want to see from our lessons in luke chapter 18 verse 1 through 8 that the persistence prevails faith that refuses to give up and we will see from our lesson today that uh, true consistent inquiries a widow persuaded a wicked judge to deal with her adversaries if a wicked earthly judge could be so moved with what this woman did. Jesus used it to tell us a story. How much more will our benevolent heavenly Father respond to our persistent prayers? So what it is to persist? To persist in prayer, it means we are not giving up. It does not mean endless repetition because the Bible says we shouldn't do that. It shouldn't be painfully long prayer sessions. Yes, we can have prayer sessions. It is a constant prayer. It's keeping or requiring quest continually before God as we live for him from day to day believing he will answer when we live by faith we sometimes may have delay delay in getting answers to our prayer but this delay always have good reasons for God does everything according to purpose so as we persist in prayer it helps us to grow in character it builds our faith and our hope somebody rightfully says Faith is the language of heaven. Faith is the currency of heaven. So when we go to God, we must persist in faith. Because without faith, it is impossible to please him. St. Matthew chapter 18, verse 1 through 8. It says, Then Jesus taught the followers that they should always pray and never lose hope. He used this story to teach them. Once there was a judge in a town, he did not care about God. He also did not care about what people taught about him in that same town there was a woman whose husband had died she came many times to this judge and said there is a man who is doing bad things to me give me my rights but the judge did not want to help the woman after a long time the judge thought to himself I don't care about God and I don't care about what people think but this woman is bothering me if I give her what she wants then she will leave me alone but if I don't give her what she wants she will bother me until I am sick the Lord said listen there is meaning in what the bad judge said listen God's people shout to him night and day 
and he will always give them what is right. He will not be slow to answer them. I tell you, God will keep his people quickly. But when the Son of Man comes again, will he find people on earth who believe in him? So, as we read our stories, we know that widows and orphans were among the most vulnerable of all of God's people. We can see that both in the Old Testament with the prophets and in the New Testament with the apostles, they insisted that the needs of these people be properly met, that they be cared for. A reference is Exodus 22, verse 22 through 24. Isaiah 1 17, 1 Timothy 5 verse 3, and James 1 verse 27. When we look at the unjust judge, we see his response to this constant pressure, as it were, that this widow was putting on him. Sure enough, she had a great need and she wanted her rights. How much more will the just judge of heaven give to his children in due time their rights? So God responds to us. The Bible says yes he will. We can keep coming to God. We can be persistent in our prayer. One, because we know he loves us and we believe that he will hear or cry for help. He is the one who uses this story to teach us what we ought to do. The Bible says he is our present helper in the time of trouble. This woman was in trouble. She needed help and she cried for help. God will give swift justice to those who don't give up so let us be sober in our prayer and let us be ever expecting that God is going to come true for us Jesus says on my return will I find people who believe in me will I find people who have faith because we know faith is one of the most powerful things we have in our Christian walk. Even though sometimes our faith rises and falls and even shifts according to our trials that we go through. But we are encouraged today. Have persistent faith. Let us remember the more we exercise faith in God, the more stronger our faith become. Let us stand on the word of God. Faith comes by hearing, hearing what God says and believing that what God says it is true and he will come true for us in our situation sometimes when we see even the enemy prevailing we get tired we get weak we become fearful and we stop persevering but let's not do that because when fear comes upon us then faith is gone so let us be wise. Let us persevere. Don't give up. Remember, true faith will always be rewarded. Not fear, but faith. Someone says, faith is like Wi-Fi. It is invisible, but it has the power to connect us to what we need. Faith 
has the power to connect us to God, even though it is invisible. But what we need as his children from him, we have to access it by faith. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Please like, share, also comment, and continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.